So when you're trying to figure out the best way to get what you need from a circle of people, say you step into a room and you only know one person. You're only there because one person is your homeboy, homegirl, and they've invited you into this room full of dope-ass people. How do you make a genuine connection? Oh, man. Okay, well, um, for me, me personally, I hate uh, trying to be extra. I hate name dropping and stuff like that. I would just literally introduce <laughs> myself and I would just say, you know, what I do. And then I would fall back to see if that person will receive what I'm trying to say. Because, you know, sometimes people be going through things, if, especially if we're speaking to somebody of higher stature. They mm -hmm. got the same things going on. Just like me and you, we be having the main things going on. And, you know, you just kind of work the room uh, and you kind of vibe off of who vibes you. And you just work mm -hmm. on that. And I think you stay consistent. Don't bother the person. Um, What's considered bother? Because um, even honestly introducing yourself sometimes to me, I'd be like, oh, Lord, I did not ask you if your name was Candy or Kim. I think it's very hard. It's a, it's a line. It's a very fine line to cross over to introduce yourself to make to make it seem genuine. I think the most positive thing to say is, hey, I'm Ferrari Simmons. I, I'm on the radio in Atlanta. I just wanted to introduce myself to you. Depending on who it is, I would, I, first of all, I would, I would really want to know who it is. Like, for let's just say I'm introducing myself to L.A. Reid. Mm -hmm. I would say, hey, what's up, L.A. Reid? I'm Ferrari Simmons. I'm one of uh, the personalities here in Atlanta. Uh, you know, very fond of you. Uh, definitely aware of everything you've done for the culture. I just want to introduce myself to you. And wow, I and that's it? I would see what he say after that. If so, you know, some people are talking. What, what if he give you the head nod? Oh, then that's it. I'm, I'm calling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not really gonna go extra hard. If he just give me the head nod, that means he's not. That means get the hell out of my face. <laughs> like, uh, oh yeah, appreciate you. And then that's when you fall back. There's no no reason to go into it again because they're not really vibing you at that point. What if you're very socially awkward and you feel that you've been a nuisance and you try to recover from that? And then you start to talk even more. What happens then? That, that's a failure because, you know, <laughs> the first impression is so important. It and is. Especially in our game, we are media people. And if anybody is in here as an aspiring media person, it's so important. That first impression needs to be damn near perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to introduce yourself. Keep it cool. You know, keep it. Because I think in media, we, we should be conditioned to be around celebrities anyway. So it shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, it could, you could be definitely nervous, could be anxiety going on, but you got to keep a level head, introduce yourself, see if they receive that. If they want to talk, cool. If they don't want to talk, don't push the envelope. 